Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Alan. So I got great news guys. You've helped us reach 2 million views. All right. And better yet, we've almost hit 10,000 subscribers, which has gotten me really excited about the future of this channel. Who knows, we might even start experimenting with some new ideas or even bring back some of our older ideas. So guys, I wanna thank you for helping us reach this point. We couldn't have done it without you guys. And a special thanks to all you subscribers out there. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section, answering your questions, taking your ideas. And most importantly, I want to really thank you guys for allowing me to continually tell you guys that you are Generation Tech. If you're watching this, if you're watching this, and if you're watching this, if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed doing that. Okay, finally. So last episode, we talked about the new Canon Thrawn novel that is coming out in April. The publishers released an excerpt from the book and explains why Thrawn wants to join the Empire. If you haven't seen that episode, check it out. But basically, one of the main reasons why Thrawn joins the Empire is he wants the Emperor to help him with a dangerous threat in the Unknown region. When I read this, there was a miniature explosion going on in my head. Unknown threat in the Unknown region? It's gotta be the Yuzang Vong. You know, the extremely terrifying, horrible alien race that killed trillions of people and didn't accept stupid things like the Force and love? You can't accept love? You don't know what it is? Love, the most beautiful, shining, warmy thing in the world, you can't accept it? Unlike some people, I really like their storyline. I bought and read all the new Jedi Order books. And a little part of me died when they made all that stuff Legends. It was like my Alderaan. <laughs> Reading is a lot of work. There was like 20 books in that series. But who are the Yuzang Vong and how are they connected to Thrawn? Well, in Star Wars Legends, Thrawn used to be a commander of a small picket force in the Chiss Expansionary Defense Force. Around this time, a Chiss fleet encountered a small force of ships from an unknown species. Despite being outnumbered, these aliens fought ferociously and caused significant damage to the Chiss forces. Thrawn's people called these aliens Far Outsiders, and they theorized that they came from another galaxy. It would later be revealed that these aliens were actually a part of an advanced scouting party for the Yuzang Vong invasion. So why would Thrawn go all the way to the Empire to ask for help combating the Yuzang Vong? The Chiss were constantly defending their territory in the unknown regions against all sorts of bad guys. I mean, it was a rough place. It's kind of like the Star Wars version of the coast of Somalia. But as rough as the bad guys in the unknown region were, the Yuzang Vong were at another level. This terrifying species had destroyed their own homeworld through infighting and left much of their former galaxy in ruins, and were looking for a new home. They traveled across the immense chasm between galaxies and world ships for hundreds if not thousands of years. The Yuzang Vong possessed biotechnology that was extremely advanced and posed a great deal of problems for the beings in the Star Wars galaxy. Instead of shields and engines, they had what were known as Davin Basils which were living organisms that could manipulate gravity and could create small black holes to absorb energy. They could even create inhibition fields that worked similar to an interdictor. Their warriors had living armor and could withstand the blow from a lightsaber, and their weapons were able to cut through most known armor, as if it were butter. On top of that, this alien race worshipped pain, and due to its past history with races of killer sentient machines, they saw all mechanical technology and their users as abominations. And believe it or not, they were so evil that they were ripped permanently away from the Force. And since they existed outside the Force, it was very difficult for the Jedi to combat them. So that's why Thrawn would go all the way to the Empire to ask for help. The Yuzang Vong were an existential crisis to the galaxy. But it is possible that this threat could be someone else. The Yuzang Vong are kind of controversial in the Star Wars community, and the New Jedi Order books weren't that well received. Also, the Yuzang Vong are so powerful that their introduction might even eclipse the threat that groups like the First Order pose. And it wouldn't necessarily make sense introducing another bad guy faction at this point in time. And on top of that, it is the 21st century, and tastes have changed, and Disney is all about reaching mainstream audiences. And the Yuzang Vong are kind of old school in how they're portrayed. They're more like 80s or 90s style bad guys. They exist in an era with movies like Predator and Independence Day where the aliens were unquestionably bad guys, and the good guys were roided at superstars like Stallone and Schwarzenegger. I love the film and culture from this era. <laughs> 
But nowadays, it's all about bad guys you can relate to and good guys that aren't really that good. The moral scales are completely muddied, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it means stuff like this is gone. and replace with crap like this. You call me old fashioned, but I totally root for the human space marines over the blue aliens, come on. And by the way, they were committing bestiality every time they rode those stupid flying horse things. When Sahelu is made. No, seriously, think about it. Yeah, you see what I'm talking about now, James Cameron, you sick bastard. Anyway, before I get more distracted and go on stupid rants, what I basically mean is that Disney probably won't take a risk on a bad guy like this with this current generation of viewers. Now Disney has opened all expanded universe content as potential resources to be used in new canon material. And every new canon property that does come out is stuffed full of Legends references. And Timothy Zahn, the creator of the Thrawn trilogy and writer of this new canon book, was the first one to create the idea that Thrawn took over the Empire in order to face the Yuuzhang Vong. So I remain hopeful. And this isn't the first time that the Yuuzhang Vong have come close to being canonized. A few years back, the makers of the Clone Wars released concept art that was never used. And among those sketches were the Yuuzhang Vong. There's a picture of one of their warriors and one picture of their coral skippers. If the Thrawn novel is indeed about Thrawn's past and his ascension through the Imperial ranks, it's very likely we'll find out in April if the Yuuzhang Vong are the threat that motivates Thrawn to join the Empire. Until then guys, let me know what you think. Do you want to see the Vong appear in canon? You know what, actually I, I kind of really want to know what you guys think, so let's do a survey. All you gotta do is click on the card in the upper right corner and tell me what you think, and I'll let you guys know the results in one of our next episodes. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss our next episode, because each one of our episodes are handcrafted with love and care, just like your mama's blueberry pie. Mm-mm. Just like mama used to make. Anyway guys, thanks for joining us. If you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.